Hello, I'm Jake Hayes. I'm a biology student at the University of Gloucestershire, and in this training video, I'm going to be teaching you how to set up and deploy an audio moth. Uh, so this is your audio moth. It's a piece of uh, for-purpose bat tracking equipment. As you can see, it's got three switches on the side here. The middle one is uh, USB slash off. That's what you're using when you're calibrating it, uh, or when it doesn't need to be recording. And custom is for using custom recording settings, which we'll be using for this project. Don't worry about the default settings, because they won't be needed. Uh, if you see the side here, we've got a slot for a SD card, the port for your cable, and there are some lights that I'll show you again once I've got power so you can see them. And that's all you need to know, really. These aren't too complicated. So the first thing you're going to want to do is insert your batteries and make sure that the audio off is getting power. And as soon as you've done that, you can uh, start calibrating. There you go, batteries in like so. And as you can hopefully now see, a red solid light has come on uh, while I'm on custom, which is telling me that it's uncalibrated and it's got power. So as long as you see that, switch it to uh, USB mode, which is the mode we're going to use while we're calibrating. Uh, for calibrating, we're going to be using this cable here. And as part of the pro participation in the project, you'll also receive a bungee cord and this plastic bag that we use later for deploying. And I'm going to switch to another video on my uh, laptop teaching you to uh, calibrate. Hello, welcome back. We're going to get to the calibrating portion of the training video in just a minute, but while I was editing, I realized I'd uh, missed a few things. So, number one, batteries that we give are rechargeable, so if you have a uh, battery charger, you can use that to recharge them if there's any problems, but they should come charged. Uh, number two, there should be a number in the bottom right-hand corner of the audio moth. Uh, you can see mine is quite faded. Uh, I did not notice at the time, but you're going to want to make a note of that, and when you send them back to us, uh, please include the number and some information on the name, date, and where you set them up. Uh, it's also worth uh, checking when you get these that you've actually got your SD card. Uh, so you can see I don't have the SD card in mine. Uh, make sure you do before you set them up. And that should be all. Uh, now we're going to move on to the recalibration part of the video uh, for all its time. Hello, welcome back. In this portion of the video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, calibrate your audio off before you deploy it for recording. So the first thing you need to do is go to this uh, website, Open Acoustic Devices, and download the AudioMoff Configuration app and the AudioMoff Time app that we use to calibrate. The URL is in the top there if you're having trouble finding the website. Uh, the AudioMoff Time app is quite nice to use. It's only a single button. So all you need to do is open it. You'll, it'll bring up this window here, and if you hit Set Time, it will set the time to correlate with the time on your system clock. Uh, the only thing you need to be aware of is that uh, if you have daylight like, saving times enabled on your computer, this might look like it's an hour behind. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. It's not a big problem. Just don't be alarmed if the time isn't what you expect it to be. Uh, the microchip in these um, can't save settings. So you've got to be very careful with the batteries, because every time the power is taken out of them, uh, the calibration will reset. So be very careful when you're deploying these that the batteries are firmly in place or uh, the calibrations might reset and you'll have to redo them. Uh, as you could see there, I took out the batteries and it lost the time. Put that back. But as long as you're careful when deploying them, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Just something to be aware of. Um, second thing you need to do is open the Audio Moth Configuration app. This looks a bit more complicated, but we're not changing too many settings. All we need is a high kilohertz uh, sample rate, helps recording bats, uh, a medium gain, and when scheduling we want to record when bats will be active, so I'd say probably 11 o'clock at night to 3 o'clock in the morning, and hit add recording period. You can see there on this 24-hour uh, graph where, where it's going to start recording. If you look at the bottom here, it'll tell you the number of files and the amount of memory it's going to use. So all you'll have to do is hit configure audio off, and you're done. At this point you can take the cable out, and if you go to the audio off and switch it to custom, you should be able to see either a green flashing light, if you've calibrated it and it is going to be recording, 
or a red flashing light if he's currently recording. Alright, welcome back. Once you have your audio mod set up and calibrated, all that you need to do is set it to custom uh, and then you can set it up. So we're, we're uh, setting these up in these little baggies. Make sure it's in and sealed to know what gets in. These are reasonably well waterproof, so you don't have to worry if you leave it out when it's raining. Although if you do, you won't get an, you won't get any bat activity because they won't be active uh, while it's wet out. So I aim to set these up on a day where it's quite dry and clear. Uh, we're setting these up at head height. When you're choosing a location, you want to avoid having it directly facing your house or in a dense bits of foliage. Uh, the reason for that is that. Uh, we're looking for echo location calls and they echo very strongly uh, so the, the calls will be quite hard to ID if it's uh, anywhere that's going to receive very strong echoes. Uh, so we'll set them up at head height, all you need to do is attach them with the bungee cord like this. Like so, can they see that? Yep. There we go. You should have two bungee cords if you want to make sure it's properly in place, but uh, just setting up a one like that has worked for me so far. And then all you need to do is leave this out. Uh, you should see when you set it up a flashing green light. That tells you that it's scheduled to record and properly calibrated. If you see a flashing red light, it's already recording, which isn't a problem. Just make sure you don't make uh, too much noise. Uh, oh, and we don't have any way great to set up in our garden, but try and keep it reasonably away from the road because that will create a lot of uh, a lot of audio distortion. Uh, yeah, and then once you're done, retrieve it. Make sure you take out the batteries uh, and turn it off so it's no longer recording, and send it back to us. Uh, if you're interested in the results, we should be keeping them. Uh, we should be posting them on the website once we've got all our data back. And if you're interested in learning more about bats, I'm currently writing uh, some blog posts on bat communication and conservation, which you can also find on the website. Uh, thank you for participating.